Got her in just a few minutes. But now an update on breaking news. Two schools on lockdown for an hour and a half this afternoon. Police arrested a man who had a couple of realistic looking guns. Our Charles Benson is live in Mayville with this update. Charles. Well, for a while, police thought they had a guy with a shotgun near the middle and high school, so they locked down the schools. No one was allowed in or out, and that had parents scared. 911, what is the location of the emergency? Mayville, Wisconsin. This is the call that locked down two schools in Dodge County. And I'm pretty sure I seen them with a shotgun out of a trunk. It sent law enforcement scrambling and left Carrie Helmrich worrying about her middle and high school kids. And when you see the SWAT team pull up in full gear, knowing that your children are not by you. 90 minutes later, police found two guys with airsoft guns. One did look like a shotgun, the other three were fake pistols, but all caused a real panic. We, we took the appropriate action. Uh, when you see a weapon, and you think it's a weapon, you treat it as a weapon. Helmerk feels the school district released middle school students without telling parents the threat was over. I found her walking on the sidewalk. At the middle school, the students were released uh, at, in an orderly fashion after they um, gathered in the gymnasium. Just last month, a similar airsoft gun scare locked down Carroll University in Waukesha. One person was taken into custody, but never charged. Now, airsoft guns are banned in Mayville, so that 21-year-old who was taken in custody has since been released, but he could be hit with a ticket. We're live in Mayville in Dodge County, Charles Benson. Today's TMJ4. Yeah, police really have to take everything like this seriously. Thank you, Charles.